Ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Stevens, and I'm the executive director of the Blue Ridge Sustainability Institute, and I welcome you to our seventh Green Monday. Part of the purpose of Green Mondays is to have an open public dialogue so that you can learn and we can learn. And uh, this is the last one for uh, the spring before we kick it in into the, into the fall. And I was looking back over the two with the six that we've had, and these all have had major impacts to help us understand who we are in some of our projects. Uh, one of them was associated with the, the green economy. One of the things that, that we're very much involved with that was part of that program was the asset mapping project. Another one was on the sustainability indicators project, and we were just talking about that. Uh, that project is, has taken off. Uh, we have a group of uh, six people who are getting together two hours a week to work on the thing, and an advisory group of about 10 people. And you know, you, you'll be hearing more about that, but the, the initial discussions uh, uh, were here. Uh, the very first uh, Green Monday was on communicating sustainability. And that's what Green Mondays is about. So I think we can say Green Mondays was a success of that very first uh, 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 pr uh, program. But anyway, we, we uh, uh, welcome you. Our group is a lot smaller today than, than usual. I know it has to do with the weather. Nobody cares about the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but in any case, it will give a chance for, for all of you to uh, in, engage during that part of the program. We are <clears throat> especially uh, appreciative that it's a, it's a, all these Green Mondays are a collaborative effort of various people in the community coming together for, for the dialogue. And we're very appreciative of, of, of the chamber here in terms of providing these facilities to us. Uh, uh, and, and they've been a partner in this and been very, very helpful in terms of opening up their facilities for us to have these, uh, have these Green Mondays, and we appreciate that very much. Uh, if you've not already, go to our website, because there, there are clips of all of our previous Green Mondays. Uh, so if you happen to miss the one on sustainability, you can go in there and, 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 and uh, 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 pick up that particular Green Monday. So we appreciate it of, of, of the collaborations in terms of, of the filming of it. And the person who's really been driving this from the very beginning, I'm going to call over to Steve. Steve is the one who's been the, 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 the one developing and designing Green Mondays. We have enormous help from others, including for today's session, John Allen, and always John Stevens, and always the leadership group of the Blue Ridge Sustainability Institute. It's that magic moment where I turn off my phone. I, I don't know what you're doing, but. <laughs> I feel like it's worth trying. Um, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited. Not that I wouldn't mind if other people wander in as we go, but uh, it's often been hard to really deeply engage. And with this size crew, we might actually have an opportunity to do that today. So you two and, and uh, our, our third speaker, who's trying to blend in with the audience. Well, that's <laughs> <what I> <laughs> <laughs> actually, when you finish, you can just go sit in the audience. It seem like the audience is larger. Welcome, Larry. Um, one of the things, <clears throat> I'll get out of the way. Oh, you can see the screen. Okay. Beautiful. You can see what's going on. Um, this is also true, though. I want to thank uh, Peter Bresney, who has actually ended up filming most of our Green Mondays as a volunteer and doing hard work getting them posted for us. Others have helped out as well. But I'm very grateful. And particularly, you know, if you, these presentations are actually going to be quite remarkable. So if you know people who didn't show up today, eh, probably by the middle of next week, we'll have everything posted and ready to go so you can direct them to the website. If they say, gee, I wish I had been there, they can simulate the experience. Um, if you will, as John stated, this is the last uh, of our sessions for the season. Uh, I imagine we will start up again in the fall. And uh, if you would like us to communicate with you about that, please make sure you write down your email address as legibly as you can. If you are already receiving email from us, you've done a great job. If you wrote your email down and you're not hearing from us, I'm sorry, it bounced back. I couldn't read your handwriting. Or your mailbox was overstuffed or something like that. So I'm going to pass this around. Um, even you, Paul, sure. can uh, fill in your names just so we know you were here and let us have your email address if you wish for us to communicate with you further. Um, what we'd like to do now, see, I'm almost remembering. Seven times, I've almost got it down. 
we actually like to go around the room. So first let me say we've got uh, Dr. John Allen, who is our chief scientist, and I'm going to let the panelists tout themselves as much as possible. Uh, Dr. Jessica London is with us. Uh, she's working for STG mm -hmm. Inc. at NOAA's NCDC. I'm sure you know better than I do what all of that means. And uh, Paul Muller yes. is uh, with us from the North Carolina Division of Air Quality. Exactly. All right. Hey. So now, if we could know who the rest of you are, it will be a more congenial afternoon. Hi, I'm uh, Bob Sweeney, and I'm with the Southern Electric Vehicle Expo. You already know John Stevens. That's Peter Bresney. John. John Ager. Uh, Pickering Nut Gap Farm. I mostly breathe in Fairview. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Fairview covered too. I've seen some of the slides. <laughs> uh, Paul Pellows here with the BRSI. Russ Martin, also at BRSI. Bob Cunningham, Axel Resident. Jonathan from Gilmore. Mike Knighton with Brain Specialty out of Charlotte. Ray Denny, Asheville Chamber. Heidi Reimer, Asheville Chamber. I'm Drew Stevens from uh, Asheville, and I have a quick announcement. We're running a GIS training class at the end of the month. If anyone's interested, I can give you more info. The GIS Institute.org. Uh, uh, it's a nonprofit function. True. Uh, Graham Jagger, PR Assignment. Sherry Ingram, Water Lakes. Reynolds, Energy Image, Google Energy Ratings, and the analysis of the audience. Rebecca Evenson, who is the Sustainability Institute and operates the National Laboratory. Jim Burton, Smithville Creek School, and I'll be sending out some tweets on this on Twitter. Just before we get fully going, I did want to point out that we have a table in the back with some handouts and uh, displays, but also for those of you who might be interested, I've been asked to let you know that this evening at 7 p.m. for free at the Diana Wortham Theater downtown at uh, Pack Place, there's a pretty significant uh, conversation going on about uh, the Asheville Climate Initiative. So you could leave here, grab a quick bite, and head on over, should you so desire. And there are some handouts about that also on the table at the back. And with that, I turn this over to John Allen. Thanks, Steve. Uh, first, I'd like to thank our uh, participants who were pressed into service at rather short notice, and I want to thank Ray for helping out um, with that. Uh, as you know, Jessica Blunden is affiliated with the National Climate Data Center. What you just saw up there is important to this area, and you need to be aware of it, because NOAA has been given the responsibility we're developing what is called the National Climate Data Records Center. And the NCDC, which currently exists here, has the weather records. But this new institute, it's going to be a cooperative institute between NCDC and an or a consortium of universities, including the UNC system. And they have the charge from NOAA and from Congress to NOAA to develop for the 